Welcome to FAST Online Tutorials for Web Requisitioning. In this tutorial, you will learn how to add commodity items to a web requisition. If you are adding commodity items to an in-progress requisition, you can open it by clicking Requisitions, Open Standard, and then the requisition number. An even quicker way is to open the requisition from the Quick Launch menu. Just expand the list and click the requisition number. Click the Help icon to open documentation specific to the requisition. If you just created the header record, the Commodity section will be open. However, I am going to close the Commodity line and show you what the form looks like when it is closed and all you have to do to open the Commodity section is to click the Add button. Notice that the header is shaded when a Commodity line is open. If your institution requires a Commodity code, you can type it or search for it by clicking the icon that looks like a magnifying glass. Commodity codes are specific to your institution and you can search by code or description. The description field is required and you can add as much information as you want. You can press tab to go to the next field or use your mouse. For the quantity of items, I only need one printer. The default unit type is set by your institution. If you want to change it, select a different one from the list or you can also type it. Enter the unit price, remembering to use the decimal point. From the list, select the type of tax for this requisition. Again, this field is institution specific and your requisition may not have a list of tax codes. The amount is calculated based on the quantity and unit price. Make sure the default checkbox is selected if you want the accounting block for this commodity to be the default for all new commodity lines in this requisition. If you want to use different accounting codes for each commodity item, just clear the checkbox. However, for this requisition, I will be applying the default accounting. If you are adding one commodity item to this requisition, you can click Save. But I am clicking the Save Plus icon because I am adding another commodity item. Please note that your institution may default the commodity code from the previous line. If not, you can also type the commodity code, although it must be the exact code. I am going to tab to the remaining fields instead of using the mouse. For this commodity, the unit type needs to be box. Type the word or select it from the list. There is another option for saving your commodity item. You can click this icon to save and edit the next line. Or, if you decide you don't want the commodity item, you can click Cancel and it won't be added. Please note that if you are editing an already saved commodity and then click Cancel, any changes are discarded. However, for this commodity item, I am just going to save it. The commodity amounts display in red showing that the items are not balanced. As a reminder, default coding is enabled indicating the accounting information used for the first commodity will be used for all other commodity items. If you are adding the commodity items on a different date than you created the header record, you may have to change the required date. Remember to click Save Requisition if you do change the date. When commodity items are not in edit mode, the Edit and Delete buttons show. Click the pencil to edit a commodity item or the X to delete it. You can view the next tutorial about adding the accounting information to the requisition.